Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Burdick, the Reading Coach. I am here to make some big words. Would you make big words with me today? Let's go. All right, these are the letters that you will need. Now I am using my magnet letters just on my table, but you can use a piece of paper where you have cut little squares so that you can write each letter or maybe you can use a little sticky note, or maybe you have letters like I do. Any of those would work. These are the letters that you will need today. E, I, B, G, H, R, S, S. So we need two S's, T, N. Now, I'm going to move all of these. This is how I want you to do. So you're going to have a space to build your words right here in front of your tummy, all right? Now, I'm going to have mine where they are backwards so that you can see what letters I am using, all right? So I'm gonna put mine right here, but you'll turn yours the other way so that it is facing you. So you will turn so that your letters face you. I'm going to turn my letters to face you as well. I want you to see what letters that I bring down from my list of letters. All right, and I'm going to build right here so that you can see them. Here we go. Take two letters and spell B. Like, I will be back soon. B, E, B, E, B. Now, after we build the word, remember we're going to point or tap and say each sound. Then we're going to zap that word and say the whole word. B, E, B. Great job. Now, let's put these letters back. And now take four letters and spell the word sing. I sing in the choir. Sing. S. I. Ng. Did you build the word sing? S. I. Ng. S. I. Ng. Ready? Let's zap it. Sing. Very good. Now, I want you to add one letter and spell sting. A B can sting you. Sting. Did you add a T right here? Listen to the word. Sting. 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 Very good. All right, let's keep going. Now I'm gonna put these right back up so you do the same. Push your letters to the top. Now here we go. I want you to use five letters to spell the word being. They were just being silly. Now remember, we built the word be already. So we already know how to spell the word be. Now I need the ing ending. That's right. I can I know that you're putting that up there. I N G. So we knew the B B E and I now heard that I need ing uh, at the ending. So I put them together to make the word being. And you can sound it out. B E I ing. Being. But I can also chunk it be ing being awesome job now let's put these up to the top i want you to use five letters to spell tiger tiger t i g er tiger now do you have your letters ready okay now, in tiger, I can sound it out, t 
I G er. My E R at the end, two letters make one sound. T I G er. Tiger. Awesome. Now I want you to add one letter to spell tigers. Tigers live in jungles. Oh, that's right. If I want to make it plural, I'm just going to add an S to the end. So if I know tiger, I know tigers. Very good. Now let's put these back. This one, I need you to use six letters to spell bright. That light is too bright. Now this is where it gets a little tricky. I have an I sound and with the I sound it's going to be spelled I-G-H. This is one sound but I need three letters to make that one sound. B -er I T. That's right. T. B -er I T. Zap it. Bright. Awesome job. Now I'm going to put these back. And I want you to think about when we spelled the word sing. Sing. This time I want you to use seven letters to spell singers. The choir had over 100 singers. All right, let's take it slow. Let's spell sing. S-I-N-G. Remember that ending ing. Ng. Now, listen to the rest of this word. Singers. Ers. So we already know that E-R spells er, ers. I'm thinking about more than one singer, so I'm going to make it plural with another S. Now, let's chunk it. You know sing. I just added the ending ers, singers, more than one singer, so it is plural. So even though I can sound out each of the phonemes or the sounds in the word, I can also chunk it. I know sing. I know ers. I know singers. Awesome. Let's put these back. Oh, no, wait. I want to do one more thing with this word. All right, we know singers. I want you to add one letter to spell stingers. Bees sting you with their stingers. Oh, that's right. You need to add the T right here. All right, let's do this again. We can sound every sound out in my word. S -t -i -ng -ers. But I can also chunk it. So I know sting and I know ers. So I know stingers. All right, let's zap it. Stingers. Very good. Now let's put these back. And I want you to use eight letters to spell brighten. When the sun comes up, it will brighten the sky. Are you ready? Listen again. Brighten. B -er. Oh, do you remember how we spelled the I sound in the word bright? That's right. I need an I G H. Because I know that I G H made the I sound in bright. We've already made this word. Now listen to the word I want you to build now. Bright in. Bright in. So you already know bright. 
Now we need to make the e n at the end. So again, we can sound out every sound in the word b r i t e n. Or if I know parts of the word, I can chunk it. Bright n, brighten. Awesome job. Now, can you think of a word when you look at all of the letters that you can build that uses all of the letters that we have in front of us? Oh, did you think that maybe we could make the word bright? -ness. We were amazed by the sun's brightness after three rainy days. So in this word, I can chunk it again. I know bright. I know the ending ness. I can put it together. Let's zap it. Brightness. Brightness. Awesome job. All right. Now let's read the words that you built today. Here we go. I will say the word, then you repeat. So this is echo reading. B, sing, sting, being, tiger, tigers, bright. Singers, stingers, brighten, and then our last word, our big mystery word was brightness. Now remember, if you see these words while you're reading, remember that you know brightness and brighten because you know the word bright. Do you see bright in both of these words? That's right. Then also, you know the word sing, and you also know the word, wait for it, are you ready? Singer because sing is in the word singer. You also know the word sting, and you know the word stingers, because, yes, the word sting is in stingers. Awesome job making big words with me today.